All right, you guys, uh, this lesson is uh, part five, so of uh, module three, two, and we're just uh, manipulating some more exponents here. So here we're going to simplify and keep answers uh, with positive exponents. And if you're not in my class, all of these lessons are found at mrmathblog.com. And then at the top, you'll find each class. This class is called Integrated Math 2. Okay, so here we go. 2x to the second times 3x to the fifth. So combine the 2 and 3 together and the x's together. 2 times 3 is 6, and then we add these exponents. 2 plus uh, 5 is 7, so 6x to the seventh. Do you, do you remember? Okay, this one here. Same thing, except there's just a little bit more. Combine the numbers, the x's, the y's, and the z's together. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12, so we're going to add these. 3 plus negative 1 is 2. We're going to add these. We're going to get 0, and there's an imaginary 1 there. So 1 plus 2 is going to give us that 3 right there. Okay, so there's that. And then remember, you guys, anything to the 0 equals 1. So there's an, this becomes 1, so... It's going to be 12x squared times 1 times z to the third. Well, we don't need the 1 in there, so 12x squared z to the third, okay? All right, all right, a lot more here. So, um, okay, we're going to combine um, uh, the numbers together. Now, look at this. Uh, typical um, algebra problem right here. Bunch of stuff, lots of math, and all of a sudden, zero power. So, so this stuff becomes 1. Similarly, this stuff becomes 1. But the 4 doesn't because that's not included. Neither does the 5, okay? So we're just going to... Um, uh, change those values to 1 right there, and then multiply 4 times 5, and we get 20, z squared, okay? Looks confusing at the beginning, but it, it cancels out. All right, real common error here, you guys. Um, yeah, everybody wants to think that this value is 1. Well, it's not 1. Only the x is being raised to the 0. There's an imaginary little 1 right there with that 5. So the 5 isn't being to the 0. Just the x is. So the x becomes 1. So 5 times 1 is um, 5. So 5 to the 4th is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 and 625. Okay, that's a good one to know, you guys. 5 to the 4th is 625. In fact, I know that because this is 25 and this is 25 and 25 times 25 is 625. Okay, think of um, 25 quarters. You'd have $6.25. All right, so here we're going to raise everything to the 2 power, okay? So the 5 goes to the 2, the x goes to the 2, and then the y to the 3rd goes to the 2, okay? So this is 25 right here. This is going to be x squared. This is going to be y to the 6 because we multiply those exponents right there, okay? All right, okay, this one here. Okay, this time everything's to the negative 2 power, okay? So there's an imaginary 1 with that 5, so it's 5 to the 1 to the negative 2, and then this x squared to the negative 2, and this y to the negative 2 to the negative 2. All right, now I'm going to multiply these exponents. 1 times negative 2, 2 times negative 2, and then negative times a negative. This one's going to be positive right there, okay? And then uh, when we have negative exponents, you guys, they slip in the denominator and they become a positive exponent. So this is going to go downstairs and this is going to go downstairs and this is going to stay in the numerator, okay? So there's that right there and then clean it up and there's your answer, okay? All right, so here we go. Uh, all right, so um, uh, if we have uh, a negative exponent, it goes in the denominator, and if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, it goes in the numerator. This is like over 1 right here, okay? So we're going to uh, flip this downstairs, this goes downstairs, and then this goes upstairs, okay? So there's all of that right there. All right, and then uh, let's see. So I'm going to do this. These two x's are going to take away two of those. There's going to be three left. And then these three, uh, maybe I did the z's first. Let's see, what did I do first? Yeah, I did the z's first. So I added these exponents here. So 5 plus 2 uh, gives us that 7 right there. And then I'll cancel, okay? Two x's take away two, uh, two of those, so there's three left. Three of these y's take away three of those, so there's one left downstairs. Okay, so there's our answer right there, okay? All right, uh, and then so if you're in my class, you're going to have that assignment or at our class at our school, Bella Vista. Uh, and then here's the worksheet. So you have to pause, you guys. There's, um, there's 24 problems. So pause and write those down. And then here's uh, the next uh, set. Pause and write those down. Okay, here's the next set. And then one more, you guys. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense. Take care.